Welcome to chapter 11 of Manic Autistic Superhero Timelines. Somewhere in Japan. Buzz, buzz. Ryujin, you have a call. I not now. Stop ignoring my calls! I you've hacked my home hologram network. That's obvious. Stop ignoring me. <sighs> Must be important then. Did you find Ares? Ares? He'll come to us. That's not important. It's Talik we need to find. <sighs> Sigh. Can't this wait till after tea? So you really have no idea where he is? No, I simply don't care. Although I understand your concern. The child is your responsibility. What? My responsibility? His presence is just as much your fault as mine. Presence was a mistake. The difference here is I admit it was a mistake. Don't you understand? This is part of a larger problem. Talik is bailing. Liz said she bailed. Rajoy, my daughter! Chal, it's not that they are bailing. It's that they realize they failed. Failed? Chal, bear with me on this example. Right. My palace is built around this single cherry tree. When we started building, these trees littered the land, and the plan was to destroy them all. But then the seasons changed, and I saw the petals fall and grew to love it, and I kept it. Ah, okay, but you promised you'd destroy it. No, Chow. Don't you understand? The beauty I saw in this tree, I'd die before I let anyone cut it down. Die for a tree, for a tree, and for this world. Ding, ding. Uh, Manic? Ah, Shadow! Oh, did you sneak in here with your shadow powers? No, I just used the elevator, the one in the middle of the room. Oh, I was running. It's stealth stimming behavior. Okay, Manic... Listen, you remember Bat Vider? Oh, did he join the Supers for Good project? Every winter he changes his costume and uploads a video showcasing the new upgrades. Oh? Wait, how is the public treating him? Well, yeah, last time we shared the full clip of our argument. Yeah, it didn't seem like people were on his side. He used his video to challenge you and our entire philosophy. What? You should watch it. He said he knew you before you got your powers. Wait, what? I only met him once. You should watch the video. Oh, we are. The role of Bat Vider has been played by different people. And now, for the first time ever, we see behind the helmet and get a good look at, at Bat Vider the second. I was born with the name Sasha. My mother was Bat Vader at that time. Did he say Sasha? The D&D &D thing makes sense now. I lived in denial for so long. Used the position of Bat Vider to express myself. Now my Bat Vider self is my true identity. The outfit has been streamlined. Impact protective material and reassembling nanobots keep the armor together in a crisis. The wings are more efficient too. Two stage system. Stage one for quick escapes and stage two for for aerial maneuvers. My new suit is geared to take on the lunar quartz, or should I say, manic. That's right, I know you're watching. You, cl you claim to want to change the book of heroes and villains? You think getting close to the top super studies group, you can write the rules? Why? Why didn't he tell me? We need new angles. And that means new players. Why didn't he just tell me? I'm heading in the right direction. The one that got us here. We could have compromised. I want to keep us on track. I'm running for governor so I can change the laws your pal has written. We played D&D &D together for five years. He could have told me. He didn't have to do a crazy game and quit on us. He could have just told me. Shadow, how could any... Are you filming me? Ah... Okay, stay calm. I thought a video response would be a good idea. We'll edit it. Stop. You need to talk to me before you invade my privacy. 
We need to think before we act, or we'll lose all tact. Manic, look, we need to make a response to this. So the collective has its will. They want our movements from Beijing to Brazil. So what are you doing to the camera? They want improvements. So I've been thinking, why can't I make robots? Please explain how this aids us. Well, a while ago, we got a bot for the chat, and I realized I could program it to do different things, and had the idea, so like a drone? No, uh, not completely. It can make choices. So more like AI. Yes, but not like one a, a movie one. It's just very basic, at least for now. You're going to keep upgrading this, uh, camera bug? I have my concerns, honestly. But they can wait. Melvin Moon is here with a friend he says has info. Mel- Mirror? Wow, this could be big. Let's do it tomorrow. What? Yeah, one big shock a day. Manic! Okay, but I may wig out. So, who exactly is he bringing? We got a name? Uh, no, but you trust Melvin, right? Yeah? I am Cosmic Quartz. I come from an alternate dimension. I'm Manic there. To what heck? I know it's freaky, but they have valuable info, such as? Uh, they wouldn't tell me until I brought them to you. Why? Manic, my power is warping and dimensional travel. There are many similarities in each dimension, and differences, too. We have a different power in each one, and each different number associated with us. The universe has an infinite timeline. The only identifier is a number system that changes for each person. In my dimension, I'm identified as M0002, but in other dim dimensions, it's different. But listen, I can't tell you everything. Why not? My dimension is ten years ahead of this one. Objection! We're not in court. You can't be from another dimension and the future. All of the dimensions I've been to have had different times. You know what? I call bull bleep. What? If you are who you say you are, why are you here? There are many reasons, but you don't even look like me. There are little changes in... We're so different, I have to be inconsequential to your dimension. Sigh. I don't have time for this. You don't have time for this. Invasion, okay? Earth is going to invade Earth. Earth's timelines are a mess. Two main realities exist, a mammalian Earth and a reptilian Earth. The reptilian Earth is a billion years more advanced, and they are running low on resources. This is why they began trying multiverse travel. They discovered our mammalian Earth while looking for an empty Earth to move into. That was about 6,000 years ago. They spent the last 6,000 years plotting our extinction, and and move their species into Earth. They have sent many agents. You may know some of them. There are seven. They refer to themselves as immortals, the descendants of an ancient human-alien family. Okay, wait. That sounds like humanity has been used to build a shell for them to move into? Yes, that is a theory. I wasn't going to say it directly in front of that one. Hey, Shadow is my pal. His mom is an immortal, not him. Wait, no. You know the immortal Talek? Shadow is his current incarnation. What? How do you know? The numbering for immortals is different, and... Man, I don't buy any of this. How can infinite timelines have numbers? It's complicated. So, if you're really me and understand this, so can I. Okay, my theory on the numbers is that they were put in place by someone who can travel through time and space. I think they were trying to keep track of something, but I don't know what. I just use them to identify people. You're right, some people don't have numbers, and people's powers are often different depending on their universe. But best I can tell, everyone with numbers is involved in the universe's end. I do have another theory on the numbers. Since no one has ever had the same number in time, I wonder if someone with incredible power switched all the people around. What do you mean by switched? 
Well, like if all the people with the same number started out in the same universe but were switched with their alternate selves. But different versions of each person has different powers. I feel like the switch was a, a, like a birth swap. So like me? Uh, Mel, uh, best I can tell, most aliens are scouts, but since you're here from childhood, it's possible you were left behind or were a spy that lost its memory. So wait, what? It means we can't trust you. Hey, you're one of those immortals who controlled the world. Fellas, you're both gonna potentially have to pick a side. Let's say we believe this outland outrageous story. What do you want us to do about it? Well, here's the thing about that. In most realities I've been to, the war is over and the aliens have won. In my reality, the war isn't over and I've been traveling through multiverse looking for anything that could give us an edge. Yet this war, this invasion hasn't even happened here. Yes, so this is mainly to help you. So then, let's see. You claim that sometimes in the next ten years, Earth will be invaded by an alternate Earth. This is crazy! Manic, I can't pretend I know nothing of this anymore. Huh? Please don't be upset, but I am Talek. Or at least I have his memories. What? I'm really, really sorry. Oh man, no wonder it took Chow so long to believe I wasn't you. Manic? I don't disclose this information to anyone but you. I've learned the only person I can trust is myself. What? No, I don't want to be paranoid. You don't have to be looking over your shoulder, but you need to be the one who takes action. Don't wait for others. So what, I have to be everywhere all the time? Hi. Uh, who are you? Ugh. That's just Bolt. Hi. Wait, who? Bolt. Sam's adopted child. What? Talek never adopted a child in any of the realities I've been to. Who are you? Do you have a number? Ooh, I love this part! <laughs> this... No, this can't be true. Fusion time! Get back! Bolt! Zap! Ugh, gasp. Whoosh! Shine. Burning. Uh, you okay? They're clearly on- f they're on fire. Clearly not okay. Seriously, pal, if you're in there, we don't know either of them well enough to do this. Run! Come on, I know- I don't know how this fusion thing works, but you were both friends. So fuse your still friends? Yeah, and if that's true, please stop freaking me out! Sing. Uh, sing? All manics hear it, so let it flow through you. Please don't. You have heard it, I know. What? Let me hear it now. I, I, what would you do if you were staring at you and it wasn't a mirror? What could you do if they called you a clone, a mistaken error? Manic, what's going on? How could you have proven all you know? How to escape this terror? I've created too strong a paradox. I have to go. Wait, what about helping us? Just listen to Manic's ideas. They will be the key. Trust them. Poof. Hey. Poof. Location, null space. Where? Null space. How do you know that and not me? I've been here before. So, explain what this place is. You seriously never been here before? This place makes dimensional travel easy. Wait, what? Yeah, if you don't know where to go next, go here. It will lead you to your next goal. Goal? Hang on, a goal set by who? By us. By you. Future you. So I'm just going to have to trust that this is right. Yeah, we don't have time for a crisis. We're heading home. Sam's office, 2030, timeline 002. Quick, tremor. This is getting out of hand. We can't just wait for him anymore. We're losing troops right now. We wait for Manic. Well, come on, Vider. You know they aren't coming back. You don't know him like I do. Vider, just tell me, what do you think he could possibly do for us to win this... For us now. 
Our only hope is to kill the Empress. We can't keep stalling. Yeah, Manic was brave, but it's been three years. He's not coming back. She's right. Manic is long gone. We need to defend those who are here. We wait. We don't. We can't wait for your god. Real gods are threatening us now. Flash. Gasp. Gasp. Manic. Manic. Ha! Huh, I told you he'd be back. Where have you been? Do you have any idea what we've been through? I have a pretty good idea, but I don't have time for a recap now. I'll only be able to fold this form for another hour at most. This timeline can be saved, but we'll need everyone to help, and I mean everyone. I've met alternate versions of all of us. To win as humanity, we'll need their help. By now, all the great, all of the greys are on our earth. They've become here through warp portals. They've since abandoned these portals and allowed them be to become damaged, but they can be restored. The Great Empress is rallying an army to extinguish humanity. The biggest attack isn't planned for at least another two months. I've been to countless alternate realities, bringing allies from those realities to win our fight. It's the only way now. Sam's Office, 2019. Timeline M002. I know we've had some disagreements, but for the sake of our future, we need to join forces. Why do you want to work with me? We're friends! We need to work together. We can't keep fighting. Manic, I don't, really don't think we need. We do! I can build robots. Vider can maintain and design them. You want to build my designs? Yes, I know our argument was just a misunderstanding. I think we made a good, good team. To build a future we'll both enjoy. Fine, I'm in.